Hey guys, this is Venom coming at you with another video today. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add color and images to your guild page and player notes. The first thing I would like to recommend is just Google search texture list ESO UI wiki. This is an extensive list of codes literally in the thousands. I would just spend some time in here, go through it, try them out. Some codes work, some don't. Some you may have to adjust the size to see if they'll work. I'll be putting up screenshots of stuff that I've went through and found that do work to try to save you some time. Next, I would just Google search hex codes. This will show you a list of codes associated with certain colors. Again, I'll be putting up screenshots of that as well. Use your hex codes. You want to start with a vertical line C. Type in your hex code. Say whatever you want. And then end with a vertical line R. Whatever hex code you use is correspondent to the color. To show you what that kind of looks like, again, vertical line C, your hex code, say whatever, vertical line R. For the image codes, it's really important on this part because it probably doesn't show it in the screenshots. You want to open with a vertical line T as in Tom, and then you want to give the size for my case i have the ouroboros i have vertical line t 300 colon 200 colon and then the rest of the code that i just copy pasted from from the texture list which is eso ui backslash art backslash login backslash login bg underscore o u r o s b o r o s dot d d s vertical line t for tempest island again it's a vertical line t and then i had to do a lot of trial and error to figure out the right size i'm on playstation so i don't know if this is different on xbox or on pc but on PlayStation, to get it to fit on your player note, you want to start vertical line T390 colon 850 colon. And then the rest of the code for Tempest Island, for example, it reads ESO UI backslash art backslash LFG backslash gamepad backslash GP underscore Tempest Island dot DDS and then you end with vertical line T. On these dungeon uh, load screens that I use as player notes, you don't have to always top this out. You can just kind of copy that and then go where it says Tempest Island, for example, delete it and then just add another dungeon in its place like Spindle Clutch or whichever dungeon you want show you what some of the other cards look like that I've got for my guys. And you can change the size of the, um, the images like for the pets that I have associated with these people as well. If you make it too big, it just disappears. So again, it's a little bit of trial and error. The color code system that I have, if you notice like DPS, tank, it just makes it easier for people that are trying to group for trials. So when they're just browsing through the guild, they can look and grab a DPS. And we have a ranking system as well. As people progress and they play and they learn the mechanics, it's just easier to find those people. And we do this ranking system as well, not to disparage 
or try to prevent people from getting into the play trials. You just don't want to grab a bunch of threes and fours and put them into a trial and expect success. We, we do it so that we have a group of ones and twos, and then we teach the other people that are new the mechanics, and we bring them up, and then as they learn, they, they go up in rank. So it's just a good way to, to use your colors and stuff in your guild and, and help train people and... So yeah, if you get time, just go through and take a look at that texture list. Again, there's thousands of code. You're going to find some in there that work, some that don't. Um, there's, It's just a, a huge, huge list of stuff. All right. Well, if you guys find this video useful, please like, follow, and subscribe. And I'll try to get back to you all with another one. Later.